What? I will refrain from doing that because I will enter a coughing fit. Yeah, I know. Are you feeling better? Debatably. Better debatably? Yes. Oh, Calcifer, you're so cute. That is a fact, yes. Yes. He's freaking adorable. Meow, meow. Oh. Now he just needs to be less of a scaredy cat. Perfect. What? Like is Calcifer afraid yeah. for his own shadow? Yes. yes. Oh my god, that's adorable. Which is he rough, quite literally he shit himself <laughs> in fear when he was a child. <laughs> And I'm fairly certain I was there for it. I was... I mean, he may have. But, like, we brought him home, and the first thing he did was get really freaked out and just shit and just leave a streak as he ran away. Yep. And he had that baby diarrhea, too. Oh, yeah. I'm clipping that. Oh, God. Hi, <laughs> chat. <laughs> Welcome uh, to hi, the stream, chat. everyone. <laughs> hi, cat. Hi, cat. Hi, chat. I'm a cat. Hi. You bring that stick here, I'll wave it around while I'm on stream, Calcifer. It's a, it's a good deal. You should probably take it. That requires a cat to listen, though. Yeah, this is true. Zero going to get an ad. No. I don't have an ad. You have an ad. No. -uh. Your, your face has an ad. <gasps> no, it ain't Rye guy. But, but, it, but it's a cute one. Yay. Hey, Rye. Oh, no. I'm just, I can't wait for the puns. Aw, oh, yeah. I mean... What? Puns? In this game? Never. I'm but always my, for My puns are fun. Puns. Rye guy's puns are not fun. I don't know. I don't want to suffer, so. I'm pretty sure I've rated both yours and Rye Guy's puns on about the same. And I, I, I was about to say I don't <laughs> want to hear any sass from you. Sass. This is a zero. I have a zero tolerance sass policy tonight. I want to hear your sass. Well, don't ask me to rate your puns then, or rate other rate. people's puns. Don't worry, I won't. Certainly add a lot to this. Uh, <laughs> good. Excellent. Right. Ooh, I got a lunch on Silver's ad. I want chicken. I just had chicken. Ooh. Oh, God. What happened? I've Something never happened. had lunch on Silver's. Yeah, you still have them. Morgan C, 39 months. Damn. Wow, that's Damn. a lot. That is That's a lot. funny considering I just hit 40 on Skies. Wow. You're going to have to catch up. Dang. I like <laughs> you didn't even react to it, Sky. I. I didn't get a sound alert, did I? I don't know. I saw the Maybe emotes the playing across the screen. Oh, well then. You I was busy, busy looking at the cat. <laughs> you were, yeah. Because <laughs> it was while you were trying to get him to give you the stick. Give him the stick. Don't give him the stick! Give him the stick. Do you know my dad? Do you know my dad? Oh. <laughs> hey, referencing now. Fensler Films. Wow, I have this ongoing call with these two cuties right now going to Discord. Ah. Okay. I I'm adorable. Yes, yes you are. Yeah. Now get on now get on my lap. You got oh. a refractor shard. Oh, thank you. Lord. Steve cheered. X5. No more sticks. No more sticks. No, no more, more sticks. sticks. I had So wings my on. my sound well, that makes no more wings working. No more wings. That's that's the joke I made. Anyway, Sky, you were saying? Uh, I have sound alerts working. I don't know if anything else is working correctly. I tried to fix Dex! a bunch of things this week. Ah! God Dex. It's so loud. <laughs> the the eternal suffering. So loud. Oh my god. <laughs> um... It is Gex night. Did that work? I see anything pop up though? <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I heard it. Uh, 
stop dicking around. Shut up, Rye Guy. <laughs> Dicks and statistics. Look, just because I like it doesn't mean we got to talk about it all the time. But you do talk about it all the time. I know. <laughs> I'm very horny, okay? You're aware. Wow. I don't imagine you two in swimsuits often. I'm sure. Yes, that doesn't happen. Uh huh. We totally believe you. I sure hope so. Anyways, <laughs> we've got a game to play. <laughs> yep. Oh, we do. We're gonna we're gonna go. We just finished an escape. God my boy, right? damn it. Lork. <laughs> What'd you do? Uh, Porn I think Pornhub theme. <laughs> it wasn't. It's not that kind of stream. Come on. You I should mean, have that sound I mean, alert for that kind of stream, then. I I should. Fortunately, like everything's tied to Twitch. Mm -hmm. Anyway, sorry, Sky. You were saying before sound alerts interrupted me. Oh, you're good. Uh, I think we just finished an escape room last stream. Yes. Yep. Yes, I June, it is a DS game. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Classic DS game. And guys, don't That's forget. X move. Don't forget, this guy's the one playing, so if you hit that exclamation point collab, you can see your side. Wow. It's true. And you can also follow Karama on Twitter. Yay. You will gain nothing from it. I, you know, gain something. Ah, all right. I will hydrate. Give me one second. I'm just doing a thing. I got the splash back. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> Sky. I've got a hat, so I'm safe from the splash. You're in the splash zone. <laughs> Sky, you should get. You should invest in a big hat like me. I should. Wait, don't you have a witch I hat? I think I, I will. Uh, no, witch hat is coming though. Okay. You need to get one since you have one Wait, IRL. You've still not gotten it? What? What? I have a live 2D in the works. Oh, sorry. I thought we were talking about your actual witch hat. Oh, She's no. She's had her witch actual hat. witch hat for, what, a year and a half now? I, that's what I Something thought. Like that. I was conf that's why I got confused. Pretty sure yeah, she's no. posted pictures in it several times. I have, I have officially commissioned my live 2D, though, and I think it's getting a witch hat. I'm not positive. It it. By the way, I'm just going to say, because I saw the leaks, it's super cute. It's always super cute. It's Holly. Of course it's cute. I mean, it's, it's Sky. Cute. Of course it's super cute. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was going to say. And it's I Holly. second that. It's Sky and Holly. <laughs> oh, my God. Sky Holly. and Holly. Oh. Don't get me excited. Ah. Uh -huh. And, and Lily's doing the rigging, so I'm excited. This is going to be cool, Lily. It's nice. Uh -huh. All right, because they were doing a, co a collab for yeah missions. I get to do the experiment for rigging. Yeah, the experiment for art too, because Holly freaking dropped Adobe, which she should. I'm a, I, yes. I'm excited. And now they're getting um, their asses sued. Yeah, they are. I just hope this means that they'll make like a like they won't they'll make a subscription plan that isn't. Fourteen fucking dollars for one program. Mm -hmm. That you have like, to like buy your way out of. Like I was looking, I was like, oh, what if I just got a subscription for Photoshop? Nope, I, that's more than three of my streaming services combined. I am not paying that much for a single program a month. If 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 Adobe still had a, you could pay for a full year thing out front, like just and just get the program forever. Then yes, I would. Oh, do for that. sure. Like I would, I would switch from CS2 to something new. But until they do that, <laughs> you know, it ain't gonna Free happen. Cloud was the worst thing that ever happened. It was the worst. It was the best thing. It was the best thing in terms of longevity. It was the worst thing mm -hmm. for the consumer. It was yeah. the best of times. It was the worst of times. Exactly. It was the worst of it. times. What? It was the worst of times. You got a refractor yeah, shot. Yeah. Okay. Loggy Steve cheered. X10. That's a, that's Remember, a six Simpsons folks, reference never for support y extortion. I didn't exactly. catch it as that. What was it? Infinite Monkeys on Infinite Typewriters? I will eventually... Wait, is that where the word blurst comes from? The mix of bless, blessed and cursed? Uh, I mean... 
just probably Simpsons before it was a thing on the internet, but I don't know if they were from the same. I'm not sure if it's Co- just coincidence or if it's from the... right convergent word evolution. <laughs> Languages be weird. They evolution do. king. Sorry, <laughs> my brother has had me on a freaking common writer mind rot because of all the stuff he bought. Uh huh. And he still You're won't always tell me. Common writer. No, but it's it's worse than usual. Because he keeps asking me <laughs> questions, and I have to answer them because I'm a nerd, and I have to answer them. He th- though today he realized that zero and zero one are not the same thing, and he's like, "Why do they do that? It's so confusing." And I'm like, "You know, it's even more confusing. One one is the next season right after the other." <laughs> uh, Silly zero is Power Rangers. <laughs> no, he's the 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 Demon King of Time. I'm slap happy. You're going to have to live with it. The nicest Demon King of time. Because Demon Kings can be nice, apparently. Anyways, I've wasted enough time. Let's 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 get back to the... Let's move oh, on to the game before I start zoning out of your conversation. <laughs> I can't hear the audio. Is it? It's quiet right now. It is, okay. it is silent. We have just escaped death. Yes. <clears throat> they step through the door to find themselves in a wide hallway. Junpei, June, Lotus, and Santa stopped for a moment and looked at their surroundings. A short distance away, a metal grate extended across the width of the hallway. They took hold and shook, but it refused to move. Nearby was a pair of elevators. It took only a few button presses to determine the elevators would not respond to their efforts. They could only assume the elevators were not powered. There was only one door left. Well, looks like we don't have any choice. Yeah. Sure does. Well then, let's open it. Junpei grabbed hold of the knob and quietly pushed the door open. (laughs) Ah! (laughs) He entered slowly, trying to take in as much of his surroundings as he could. The others followed shortly. Oh, so it's a kitchen. Santa did not look pleased. I am not pleased. <laughs> what were you expecting? Though. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah. Isn't it obvious? The exit. I was hoping this would be the way out of here. You really think it'd be that easy? Yeah, yeah, I know. Still. As they talked, Lotus headed deeper into the room. Until at last, she stood in front of a door. If we could just get through this door, we should come out on the other side of that. Great, we saw earlier. But we don't we need a key for that? Sorry, I guess that wasn't very constructive. Neither Junpei nor Lotus looked terribly happy. Junpei dug the ship map from his pocket and spread it out in front of him. Spelling things out for the viewers. As he did... Hey! What's that? Oh yeah, I guess I forgot to tell you. I found this a little while ago. It's a map of the B-Deck. Before Jinpei could finish, Lotus snatched the map away from him. Like a hot bitch. She ran her fingers across it, muttering to herself. I knew it. See? Look. Jinpei did as he was told. Santa and June moved over to look at the map as well. See? We came in here. If we go out there, then we'll be at the other side of the grate. With her finger, Lotus traced a path on the map. She was right. Satisfied that she had been correct, Lotus folded the map and handed it back to Junpei. He took it and slid in the valuable piece of paper and slid the valuable piece of paper back into his pocket. There's a card reader on the right side of the door. Then that means the key card, brackets, is somewhere in here, right? That seems the most likely. All right, we know what we need to do then. Let's get moving. First off, I say we split up and look for clues. Split up, gang! Right, I look gang. for clues! Roll, roll!
seek a way out. Y'all ready for another one? Yeah. Let's okay. do it. Uh, I guess the obvious thing is to start with the plates in front of us. Sure. I think there are 15 of these plates. I'm assuming they're for seafood. How the hell can you tell that? They look like any other plate from a 99 cent store. If you ever take a lady out to dinner, you're going to embarrass yourself. I feel sorry for June. What? 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 Why the hell are you bringing up June? She's crazy! As we disclosed lady, yeah. last episode. <laughs> the lady doth protest too much, methinks. You are not terribly subtle. Look, she may be hot, but I'm not putting it in crazy. <laughs> There's a bunch of <laughs> There's a bunch of little wavy ridges on this plate. Those plates are for serving meat. You really are ignorant, aren't you? I mean, this is all news to me. Come on, it's not like I need to know this crap. Jeez. As Karama once again gets completely in sync with Junpei. Yes. One, two, three, there's ten of them. If you flip these over, they look like hats. <laughs> the well, like hat. here would say. She's got a new hat. <laughs> the the plate can also be used plate. as a hat. My frying pan can also be used as a drawing pan. <laughs> Why did I know you were going to say that? <laughs> that's, that's the best fucking yeah. line ever. It's also a line he repeats often. They're soup plates. They're made that way so that the soup doesn't spill. If we ever get out of here, you should treat yourself to a nice dinner out. Why is soup plate? Just use a bowl. It's for underneath the bowl. Huh? Okay, oh, we're at no, least going to Olive fell Garden. Out of the cup. <laughs> and we've been to Olive Garden together. Oh yeah. You got yeah. soup. <laughs> I did, and it had a soup plate. I did. Right. Put it. I was too busy eating my food. <laughs> <laughs> Ragai, just because it's Pride Month doesn't mean you can make that joke. Son of a bitch. What makes you think a college student has the, the money to do something like that? Those nice plates look pretty expensive. I like how these plates look expensive and the ones two away look like plates from the dollar store. Yep. They're, They're plates, plates for appetizers. Dollar. Remember, appetizers usually come on square plates. <laughs> <laughs> this okay, game's okay. Well, excuse me, princess. What, what's next? Is there going to be a section where Jinpei says, I won! Can we check the little paper on the left? We can check the little paper on the left. Boy, it sure There's is a boring around here without zero. <laughs> Link, my boy! My boy. There's a voucher at the end of the counter. This voucher doesn't match the number for the uh, plates on the table. No, Raga, it it's says, zero escape. <laughs> it says appetizer nine, meat dish ten, soup A, seafood dish F on the voucher. And the plates on the table are nine appetizer, 16 meat, 10 soup, 15 seafood. These are very important numbers. Make sure you remember them. I will not hey, remember. I've already forgot them. Are they actually Eternal. important? Should I be writing this down? <laughs> this guy, just yep. take a screenshot. Okay, can you reopen it so I can put it down? Uh, I don't think so. Yes, you can. Here, you did here before. you go. Okay, hold on. Hmm. How'd you roll back by a lot before? Well, I don't know hexadecimal, so... Okay, it just goes uh, zero through F. I know that she's a villain in reboot. So Ooh. zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, A, B, C, D, E, F. Yes. Or I guess nine, and then into letters since. You yes. Because okay. zero would be at the end. Mm -hmm. Yep, base ten. Hi. System numbers. So I'm just explaining this, so I'm not gonna. Yeah. So. Yeah. Zero through nine and then A through F. And A through F equals ten through fifteen. I wish it was sixty-nine. Ha 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 ha. 
Uh, oh, I guess we're not counting zero. zeros here. What? You're not counting me? Damn. Yeah, you shouldn't count no. on me when it comes to puzzles. We don't. Don't worry. We don't just say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to play along with what you were saying. Mm -hmm. Why can't no you play along when I say something smart? One. <laughs> I do. It just needs to happen more often. Oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> Dang. It's only in the later ones I have a notepad. Okay. Okay, so Hang I at on. least wrote down base 10. So yeah. I have that to go. Let me get a... Let me grab a piece of paper. The, the truth is, I feel really time. useless here because I don't understand any of this. And now that you've added numbers, I understand it less. We had numbers <laughs> in the first stream, Zero. Yep. We sure did. <laughs> and uh, Bill said in the car ride over today, he's like, I don't understand people who don't like math. I'm like, it's because it's confusing. It's not confusing. It's always the same. Never changing more reliable than uh, writing, in my experience. Except word problems. Those can go fuck themselves. Yes, yes they can. But... I take it back. I actually love word problems, because it's basically like figuring out the math behind it. I like. Oh my god, Sky, you're so well. hot. Jesus. I only like them if they're written well. Oh. I feel like a lot of them have are just poorly written. Sky, when you, do, when you do brain stuff, you're just really hot. Last okay. time I did brain stuff, I went to the hospital. Not Indeed. that brain stuff! <laughs> I actually don't know what happened. You never told me, but I'm not going to ask right now. That's cool. I just had a brain bleed. I mean, not just, but that's... Yeah, but but the, did you do it? Did you do it? No. It just happened? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> What's that thing on the center of the table or the island behind the uh, plate table? Can we click on that? Mm -hmm. A countertop. We've got a rolling pin and a colander. Nothing useful, in the other words. What's a colander? I'm surprised Santa knows what a colander is. It's yeah, the thing you use to string things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what a colander is? I always just call it a rather, strainer. That's what that's called. Yeah. I always just call it a strainer, but it's, it, yeah, the technical term is There colander. might there might be a difference between like a metal one and like one with holes. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Are each of the plates interactable or is it? Or we went through all of them. Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure. I guess we. Would you uh, like me to see what numbers there are again, or I could just? Look. Uh, if you don't mind, so I can actually just get it all down. Thing to help you guess the date and day of the year. What? Oh. Ten two plates. And is A in hexadecimal. Okay. okay. Wait. I get this. It's hex code. Uh huh. Yes. Linux. I know this. I know this. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Chroma. You, you, you should have known that one. Hold on. I'm writing down. Oh, okay. 16 is written as 10. Oh, because it. Circles back around. Uh, that is yep. nuts. <laughs> Why did it italicize nuts? That's an excellent question. <laughs> Wait, if it's base 10, where does it start numerically? One. So it starts at one and then one, two, three, four, five, six, Wait, seven, sorry, eight, we're nine, talking eight. we're talking hex, not uh not binary, right? Correct. I mean, binary is just base one. Isn't... Wait, hold Doesn't hex start with zero? It does in computer code, but if we're talking actual numerical, it's one is one. I mean, what are we... For the game, are we starting with zero or one? One. Okay. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F, zero. Yep. E, F, ten. So basically... Oh my god, right, guys. Eleven, twelve. Bitch. Because D is not, yeah, I mean, exactly. That's precisely how you get it. <laughs> oh, wait, how does 16 equal 1, 2, 3, 4? So, what are we trying to establish here? Okay. It's just the plates are set down in order and for counting in base uh, 16. Okay. In 
I'm glad you two understand, because I don't. I'm kind of understanding. So wait, we only had soup, seafood, and meat plates. What was appetizer plates? Nine. Oh, nine for appetizers. Okay. You skipped past that real fast, so... Appetizers is such a weird word to spell. Ops and Zerts. Huh? What was that? Okay, I got it. Apps and Zerts, is that what you said? Yeah, that was... Oh, that was... Yeah. Uh, 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 Parks and Recreation, that was it. I mean, it's better than trying to spell hors d'oeuvres, so... Mm -hmm. Okay, I've Hours got the... Hours d'oeuvres. I've got the 9, 10, 15, 16 written down. Perfect. Okay, I guess we look to the left. Um, step stool. Step stool. Oh, oh, okay. The bottom one is slightly cut off for me. Uh, oh. Can we interact with that keypad? Yep, it just brings you to the keypad. Okay, we don't have a, or er, we don't really have the code for that, do we? Uh, I don't know. I assume no. Or er, I mean, nine AF ten, I guess. If that, we don't know how many uh, inputs it requires. Ah, uh, yes. This is probably where we put numbers. Oh, in. wait. It, it's not numerical, so. Or, or that, rather, it's only numerical, so we don't have an actual. So glad this is. Oh, it's too many numbers. Okay. I mean, I have no idea how that would have converted anyways, so... Uh, check the pot, I guess? What we've got here is a pot and frying pan... Oh, and a pressure... Ooh, pressure cooker! And a drying pan! Well, I guess we could use some of these sure. weapons. What kind of idiot are you? You're gonna run around holding that thing while you're looking for the dead? Hey man, it was just a joke. I mean, put that in the hands of a mom, it's gonna be terrifying. Why so serious? Oh my god. This was before Dark Knight. <laughs> oh <Yes>. my god. <laughs> hey, if you're watching Dark Knight, you can say, hey, is this a 999 reference? <laughs> it's a classic Gex movie. I swear, I, swear, I swear to god, if Junpei says, you wanna know how I got these scars, I'm leaving. Can we try to put those spices beyond the pots? Okay. Maybe. Just the partition. partition, okay. There no. it is. Ah, okay. Bottles ah, of seasoning. Ball sorry, bottles of what? Seasoning. Seasoning. Sorry, I thought you said something else. Because we don't bottle that, we use jars. Don't want to start it. Preferably, preferably with anime figures. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> no. It's specifically with my little pony figures, not anime figures. Ah! Look, a door. Damn it, it didn't work. This just reminds me of the story that um, when Ten got Claire a discount anime figure and she found out, she's like, hmm, it's kind of sticky. And then she realized what it was. <laughs> it was a tribute <laughs> figure. And she's like, I scrubbed so much. Oh, God. Uh, she's like, normally I'd throw it out, but it was a gift from a friend, so I couldn't. A gift from a friend that was a uh, yeah it was a used figure but it was still in the box uh, so ten didn't know that uh, it was a tribute figure oh god and claire didn't know until she opened it Ugh. yeah uh check the trash cans where the figure should be <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's nothing can... not even any well figures. better than being full of rotten food Oh, I mean, he's not just... wrong. It's true. Uh, rolling pin? No. There's a rolling oh, pin so and can... colander here. Nothing useful. Oh, so you can't pick it up. Deja vu. We're talking weapons. You could grab that, uh, grab that rolling pin. That rolling pin will do some real damage. And then you can, can roll that? people. How about a door? Oh, cheese! Cheese. Ah, it's got cheese! <laughs> ah, yes. Cheese that says cheese. Hey, there's something oh, behind yes. the cheese. Listen, listen. We we all know about right. the we all know about the ketchup that says ketchup on it. Yes. 
Yes, but Why don't the we move actually some looks of like the cheese? Do we bring a book? Us? Isn't there a book who moved my cheese? I don't know. If there is, I, I know nothing about it. I think it's a book about like OCD and stuff. Oh, that makes sense. All right, guys, time to move it. June time to move the cheese. Here. Oh, olive oil. Yay! Wait, it olive oil. Olive oil. Yeah, I know. Is olive it olive extra oil. virgin olive oil? <laughs> no, it's no, super it's slutty. slightly fucked. It's slightly fucked. Slightly <laughs> super fucked. slutty. <laughs> slightly fucked. How do you be an extra virgin? <laughs> uh, Never you're even thought about it. You're a nun. Uh, I, I, well, no, they take it up the ass. Hmm. Don't make this stream any more cheesy. I would eat some cheese right now if I had some. Yeah, you would always you would. eat cheese if you had some. Yeah, I would. Even Let's check under this tarp later. What is that? I'm guessing tuna. Oh, box! I didn't oh, see that. a box. Knife. What do you uh, have? A rusty knife. A, a knife. knife. No. Oh, oh. What? I don't think we'll be able to use it while it's like this. It says you. That thing's rusty as fuck. That'll do some damage. Mm -hmm. Knife seemed important, Junpei thought, but it wasn't going to be much use the way it was. I mean, I don't know why, unless you're planning on eating with it. Futile. It's futile. Okay, why is futile written like that? I don't know. You know, a waste. Useless. Pointless. That's why I bolded it. Oh. How'd you do that? <laughs> Um, any particular reason you want to bring that up? Note to self, don't oh. give her the knife. <laughs> no reason, really. Why don't you let me hold on to that for a bit? No, I don't think I will. I was just thinking about futility and, you know, our resistance is futile. <laughs> I'm not trusting you with the knife. Oh, she no, wasn't making the much sense. Oh, no. Junpei tried rephrasing his question. Why were you thinking about futility? I don't think June's a bottom. At last she answered. Well, it has something to do with the Titanic. Oh, no. What does that have to do with the Titanic? Oh, oh yeah, no. here we fucking go. Yep. I'm about to lock in with Junpei again. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zero's got an ad break. Oh, That's my cool. God. We can wait. This... To prepare yourself for another June tangent. My... I'm face palming right now. I can hear it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my lord. This woman is killing me. I mean, if we give her the knife, she'll literally be killing us. No, not physically. Huh? He's like a little pray, too excited to be on the Titanic. Pray to God there's no rapping dodge in the Titanic they're talking about. I'm sorry, there's, Look, no there's something you should know, so no. I gotta tell you so. So. Don't sweat it! Forget it! Let's stop the show! <laughs> the rapper? The rapper? Nope. Titanic 2. The Look legend all days when we party all night! Excuse me? <laughs> you know, it's party time. I'm just gonna smile in. It's party time! That's party party that's time! That's Everybody that's getting down because it's party time! Just smile and wave, boys. Just smile and wave. It's party time! Another one, John Silvers. Hmm? I said, ooh, there's another commercial for Long John Silver's. He really wants me to get a $6 chicken basket. Om nom nom nom. Uh, $6? Mm -hmm. Damn. Mm -hmm. Hey, can I come over and have chicken? Hell yeah, we can get the nine-piece the, the nine chicken sea share. It's for only $11. <laughs> you know what that, that just reminded me of? It's, guy. <laughs> it's like you're saying, all right, we can, go, we can go out for a dinner date to McDonald's and you can have two things off the dollar menu. <laughs> It's like you're that just reminds that me of Parks and Rec. This counts as one thing. The giant <laughs> thing of gummy bears. All right, the ad's over. Okay. All Good. right. Time this is me. time for time for a story from June. Time for me to lose my mind again. Have you ever heard the story that the sinking of the Titanic was predicted? No. No, I haven't. You I've haven't. I've not heard the story of the place geest wise. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, now she's gonna tell us. She's what so excited. It? She's gonna over. She's gonna hyper focus on this shit. 
In 1892, 14 years before the Titanic sank, a novel was published. It was called Futility. It was written by an American novelist named Morgan Robertson. The story was about a big cruise ship gliding with an iceberg and sinking. Of course, if it was the only similarity, there wouldn't be any reason to mention it. It wasn't, though. The name of the ship, its nationality, course, departure time, size, displacement, maximum speed, number of passengers and crew, the number of lifeboats, even the location of the accident itself, and the cause and location of the damage. Everything matches the Titanic almost exactly. It was almost as what if he had seen the whole thing happen. What was the almost? I don't know, you have to look at the book. <laughs> it's probably an actual real. book. Yeah. It is. I mean, but depending the on how long they were working on the Titanic, it's not too feasible, or not out of the realm of possibility, they just wrote a disaster book about the biggest ship to sail the seas. It's true. So how long did the Titanic take to build? Huh? I'm sure it was a That's decade Google. or something stupid. Hold on. I'll find out. <laughs> Google, years. how long did the Titanic take to build? About 26 months. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Uh, 3,000 people helped. Oh, that would do it. Yeah. yeah. Throw enough people at something that big and it'll get things fast. But that's not all. You see, it wasn't just futility that predicted the sinking of the Titanic. There were two other similar stories written by a man named William Thomas Stead. Both of them before the accident. One in 1886 and one in 1892. That guy only had one thing he wrote about. And it was a boat. <laughs> Stead wrote two stories that had striking similarities to the Titanic. He said, okay. Okay, but how Why many... would you have two boat, two boat sinking books? How many ways can you write a... Wait, two ships colliding? Yeah, two um, ships... The 1800s one, two was a different time. It was. And many of the passengers died because there weren't enough lifeboats. In the other, a ship collided with an iceberg and sank. Okay, question though. How often was ships colliding with icebergs an issue? Because that could be entirely written off as not being quote-unquote predicted. If, if I remember point, correctly, it wasn't very common. Because you'd be I... fucking careful. Why do I feel like June would believe uh, Doom's theory of the Four Horsemen of the Hinds Apocalypse? What about I mean, she, the? She just sounds like a conspiracy theorist in general. That's true. What about the theory that the Titanic didn't sink and it was actually the sister ship? The windows don't match, everyone. The windows I've, I've don't match. Heard, I actually know that one. Oh, me too. It actually bugs me because I want to know why. Let me, let me mm -hmm. guess. She also thinks the Earth is flat and that uh, and that global warming is a sham. No, no, no. She's much more tame than that. She doesn't think the moon exists. Funny you should mention the fucking moon. Oh my god, I can't wait to play the second one. God. <laughs> I'm gonna have more Junpei moments, aren't I? Oh, you very much are. If there's a character similar to Junpei in the next one, I have to play him, I think. Okay. At, at least at this rate, with how things are going. <laughs> hmm, I don't know. I mean, I'll give you that it seems a little weird, but... I'm pretty sure it wasn't too uncommon for ships to hit icebergs back in the day, or even other ships. Exactly! Right. I knew you'd say that. Because you're crazy. <laughs> okay, what if Joseph Joestar. Sort of special powers. To be what if he was uncreative? So, <laughs> so my, for my reference, Joseph Joestar does this thing where he says, the next thing you'll say, and he says exactly what it is, and he ends this, uh, the line with, who are you? And when he says that, th the character says the exact thing, and then they go, NANI! Yes, I'm aware of that. Oh, oh, another thing isn't bold. Uh oh. Automatic to be more writing. specific, what if he had the ability to do automatic writing? What? Automatic writing? The printing press was existed existed a long while ago. What do you mean? <laughs> Are you talking about that thing where someone says they're possessed by a spirit? And then they write a bunch of stuff knowing what they're writing? Yes. So he got drugged out of his mind and wrote a story. <laughs> it was the 1800s. They were probably high on opium at the time. <laughs> what do you mean? Yes, that's just a little bullshit. 
Okay, so let's say, hypothetically, that automatic writing isn't a total load of bullshit. She's sad! You made her sad! <laughs> you stop being a conspiracy theorist, then. These guys still couldn't have predicted the sinking of the Titanic, a ship that wouldn't exist for another 11 years. When, when this du stead dude wrote his thing, nobody had died on the Titanic yet. So if the automatic writing is about being possessed by spirits of dead people, who the hell possessed them so he could write that stuff? <laughs> Just so you know, I'm doing that little where you put your finger and uh, your thumb and pointer finger together while I'm saying this. <laughs> I'm in character. <laughs> <laughs> she was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. Well, no, it's the shape <laughs> of a circle, but okay. Well, they don't stop coming in. They don't. S she doesn't stop coming, and she needs to stop coming. No, no, you guys, you guys don't get it. That's not it. What's not it? Said wasn't possessed by a spirit. It he was, was doing stand. possessing. What? Okay, <laughs> where can I get it from? William Thomas Stead was a passenger on the Titanic. He just wrote down what he saw with his own eyes. 20 years before it happened. <laughs> Never mind, I don't want what you're smoking. <laughs> oh my god. He decided it was probably best to say nothing. No, I didn't. What June was saying was insane and utterly absurd. If he tried to take what she was saying seriously, he'd go mad. Yeah, I'm going totally mad. Junpei <laughs> smiled uncomfortably. Well, <laughs> um... Well, will do some other time, okay? Yeah, oh, we're busy. Huh? huh? <laughs> but... <laughs> Her voice trailed off as she glanced at the floor, troubled. But it's plot relevant, guys! No, it's not. You need to stop doing whatever it is you're doing. Junpei tapped June gently on the shoulder and awkwardly reached around her to pick up the knife from the box. Get the knife out of her reach. Please. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god, this woman. I don't think there's anything else. Pull lot of cans. The pantry. Can you do anything? Yeah, zip up the milk. <laughs> Ugh, yeah. Don't want to open up some old milk? Uh, that little uh, teapot thing? Sure. Wow, this pot looks like it's made of- ooh, silver! I bet drinking tea from this pot would be really yummy. Actually, I think this is your narration. Bring a day off with June drinking tea. Did such a day ever happen to, for me? Jump no, in. it was internal monologue. Oh, yeah. no. We don't really need hot water, so we, could, should be, bleh, so we should be moving on. And I wouldn't trust her not to spike the drink. Isn't this fucking music, by the way? Oh, let's go good. It's a note! It's got a bunch of stuff written on it. But it doesn't look like code or anything. Like... That. Okay. I just realized his, like, incredibly ripped scarf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Santa, why are you wearing that? Uh, can we interact with those two doors on the other side? That's the exit. There's a big old iron plate over it at the door. I don't think we can open it. I imagine the other door says the same thing. I believe so. Or that it's the one we need. Oh, here we go. What the Santa, hell? Could you open the door, please? Yeah. There's no way I could open that thing. Guess you're getting to that age where your eyes starting to go, huh? I will fucking kill you. You better watch your mouth, boy, or someone won't live long enough to see that. Door opened. If you want the rusty knife, I can give it to you. <laughs> you gotta get out of here and fast. Mm -hmm. We can't stand Between these June, dishes. Santa, and uh, Lotus, I don't trust myself. Here's another Ooh. door. Can we dig on the ring? It's a bolt. And it's really rusty. Will this even open? We won't know until we try. Let's give it a shot. I mean, there's three of us. I would be surprised if it wouldn't. Wait, no, there's four of us. Damn. The damn thing's stuck. 
Um, what can we there. do to... There's my second Cold Fear reference. Oh, Pot of Oil. Which is ironic, because they're trapped on a boat. Some oil on hey. it. Hey! This little boy? Come on. Come on, you little son of... Oh, was that Santa saying or... No, that was you. Okay. Haha, <laughs> I got you, you little bastard. You did it, Jumpy. You're so smart. You stay a few feet away from me. Ooh, freezer. As Jinpei walked in the room, a blast of cold air washed over him. Almost instinctively, he folded his arms tight across his chest, doing what he could to conserve body heat. Doing cold in here. What is this place? It's a freezer. Well, no, Jumpy. I take that back. You're an idiot. I don't want to hear it from a Are you blind? Artist. It's a freezer! Santa's teeth had already begun to chatter. Hardly surprising. The freezer was far too cold for someone dressed as he was. And yeah. if he didn't rip up his fucking scarf... Lotus, however, was even in an even worse situation. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nope, fuck this. I'm out. That's way too cold for me. I'll freeze solid in seconds. Yeah, she's Sorry, wearing, but like, I'm afraid I'll have to pass on this one. She's like wearing metal and shit. That shit's gonna get real cold. Oh, yep. Man. And with that, she ran out of the room. As Lotus left, June came in. June would be perfectly fine in here. Whoa, it's really cold in here. White puffs of steam hovered in front of their faces as they talked. June had already started to shiver. Hey, you don't need to be in here. You had a fever just a little bit ago. You should stay outside, we got this. No, I'm fine. No, you're not. My fever's gone now. Bullshit. Junpei had scarcely opened his mouth. When the thunderous sound of metal upon metal rang out from behind them. It closed behind us, didn't it? In unison, they spun around to find that the door they had only recently come through was closed. Womp womp. <laughs> Junpei rushed to the door. Desperately, he grabbed hold of the doorknob. Oh. It was cold. a blaze tape to it. <laughs> Beyond cold, merely touching it was painful. The doorknob had been frozen solid. They quickly deduced the pipe next to the door had ruptured. Water released by the rupture had hit the door and frozen instantly. Santa shoved Junpei aside and pounded against the door. Hey, Lotus! <laughs> You're out there, right? Open the door! Quick, Jude's gonna start talking about something weird! She wasted no time in responding. What do you want? What's going on? The door won't open! Try opening it from that side! Please! Ugh, fine. If you say so. Hold on. Soon they could hear Lotus on the other side of the door. I think that was that was good. That's enough. Then the grunting ceased, and they could hear light panting as if from exertion. It's, it's no use. It's no use. <laughs> it won't budge. You've got more people in there. You figure it out. We're killing everyone we get up here, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, damn it. Okay, so we're on the page. Santa was shaking like a newborn deer. June the irony of his name being Santa. Violently. <laughs> ho, 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 motherfucker. You're gonna freeze to death. Even Jun Junpei with the heaviest yeah, clothes of any say, of them ho, 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 was clearly ho, ho, feeling bitch. cold. <laughs> with every breath they took, they could feel the cold working its way deeper and deeper into their bodies. <laughs> Anyway, so let's find a way out. If we don't get moving, we're gonna be permanent residents. Jumping jacks, let's go! T -t -two, two heads are, are better than none. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Yeah, y you're right. Let's just take a good look around this room, okay? <laughs> right. 
They pushed in close to one another and began to search. It's, it's hard to feel cold when it's so warm in my room. <laughs> yeah. Quick, everyone take off your clothes and huddle. Uh, I'm already halfway there. I'm not wearing underwear. Oh yeah. What's that thing in the back left? Well, Sky, we better huddle. Oh, wow. Dry ice. Fascinating. Ooh. Dry ice? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Junpei picked up the dry ice with his sleep so as, so as to avoid burning himself. Yeah. Dry ice is just frozen carbon dioxide, right? Yeah, it is. I wonder how warm it has to get for it to turn back into gas again. Room temperature? Or slightly above room temp? Hell if I know. I wonder if anyone has super specific knowledge about this. Oh, well, I figure we might be able to ease it to get out of here. They're about to move on when June spoke up. God damn it. <laughs> Carbon dioxide sublimation point is negative 109 degrees. Any warmer than that, it'll turn into gas. Any lower, and it becomes a solid. Junpei looked at her, dumbfounded. How do you know that, you fuckhead? Hee hee. Despite my looks, I'm the and the of random knowledge. Yeah, that sounds like something you'd say, Sky. Yep. Looks bad to mess up when you're showing off. In the mouth of this. <laughs> like you're so cool with your mouth going numb? Yes. I don't think I've ever had that happen. That's that. You're just doing that on purpose, aren't you? <laughs> June giggled and did her best to hide her guilt. At least she was still feeling good enough to joke around you. So. Also, wouldn't that mean it's already defrosting? Because there's no way that freezer is negative 109. Because at most, freezers are generally like negative 5 to 0. That or it is an like... escape room, so... I mean, could have been just for the dry eyes. Uh, I mean, if it's still, it should be al like already defrosting, because there's no way it's anywhere near 100, negative 109, because they'd be dead. Not even counting the carbon monoxide poisoning, they'd be suffering from a defrosting if it wasn't. Santa, you're up. Come on, guys. Don't you think that's kind of weird? I wonder why it doesn't turn into a liquid first. Science lesson. Santa was now shivering at an astounding rate, but his curiosity seemed unaffected. Jinpei, however, noticed. Or Junpei, however, was not in the mood to discuss science. I I want to know why. Okay. It did seem rather odd to Junpei. Because I was literally just talking about, about that it. being the thing, so I feel out of character not to. <laughs> June answered, because of course she did. But it can turn into a liquid. Carbon dioxide turns into a liquid if you put it under high enough pressure. Just like but at one at oxygen does. But at one atmosphere, normal air pressure, it won't... Zero. <clears throat> Sorry. It won't turn into a liquid, right? That's right. Instead of melting, it'll do what's called sublimating, and change immediately from a solid state to a gaseous one. I actually know about sublimation. I guess that makes See, sense now. That is weird. Water's yeah. a liquid between 32 degrees and 212 <laughs> degrees. So why isn't that the case for the carbon dioxide? Different elements? June replied with an answer that stunned both of them. There's a kind of ice that doesn't turn into liquid when it goes above 32 degrees. Huh? Huh? I, I heard about it. Its melting point is 96 degrees. I suppose the melting point of 96 degrees? You mean there's water that freezes at 96 degrees? Yeah. And oh, not the pop sensation look... 98 degrees? <laughs> yeah, well, you could also look at it as ice that won't melt until it's 96 degrees. Water that freezes at 96 degrees? 
ice that won't melt until it's 96 degrees. It's bold, so it's important. Junpei was cold as hell, but this was too interesting to ignore. He did his best to warm up by rubbing his arms and stomping his feet, but then put the question to June. So what's this ice with melting point in 96 degrees called? Gosh, Jumpy, weren't you paying attention to the opening movie? I heard it's called Ice Nine. Okay, before I Google it, is Ice Nine an actual thing, or is it something that exists purely for the game? Yes, it is real. Okay. Everything they talk about is... The, the only thing I know Ice almost... Nine from is the band Ice Nine Kills. <laughs> I mean, I because I, if I didn't ask, I was going to Google it, and I wanted to ask before getting potentially spoiled about it. Gotcha. Uh, there's only a couple details they change in a couple things that kind of make it more mysterious, but it's it's they're it, all real. I just wasn't like, sure she, if, like a wiki page for the game would show up with Ice Nine on. I was um, like, ah, oh, fuck. It might. Yeah. Well, originally, Ice Nine was made up was a made up substance invented by science fiction author, but recently scientists have discovered that such a substance actually exists. What? Hold up. So is this thing called Ice-9? Or is it water? Like I said, if the ice is over 96 degrees, it'll be liquid. If it's under that, it'll solidify. Solidify. So you could think of it as a polymorph of H2O. Here, think of it like diamonds and graphite. They're both made of carbon, right? Okay. But depending on the structure of the crystallization, the hardness and the structure are completely different. So you're saying that water and this Ice-9 are like that? Yep. She wasn't finished. Have you heard the story of the, about the crystallization of glycerin? I don't think so. I like this one. For 150 years after the discovery of glycerin, people cooled it, warmed it, and did all sorts of things to it. But whatever they did, it never crystallized. Mm -hmm. However, one day in 1920, some glycerin that was en route to England by ship was discovered to have crystallized during the trip. Naturally, scientists worldwide wanted to research this new crystallized form of glycerin. I began asking about samples for the seed. For samples of the seed. A seed is, of course, a sample of the original crystallized substance. With a seeded crystal, further crystallization of glycerin would be a simple matter. However, something very strange happened. Not only did the glycerin encou encouraged by the crystals begin to crystallize, nearby samples did as well. It didn't end there. After that day, all glycerin in the world began to crystallize naturally when cooled to less than 64 degrees. What? Before that day, no matter how glycerin was cooled, it refused to crystallize. But once crystallization had begun, it was almost like... How do I put it? It was almost like all the glycerin in the world was communicating. They would have frozen death by now. Communicating in some way that we can't sense. Uh, I mean, if it's at normal freezer... Levels, oh, yeah. they should be fine. Like they've been I've, really I've taken it. I've taken a break in a freezer longer than this. <laughs> I've been in the freezer for like forty <laughs> minutes. This is nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think I'm uh, impressed on that one. Uh, also, I was gonna say before you answered that, Ice Nine doesn't exist. Okay. It's not real. Yeah, yeah, that was one of the exaggerations. Okay. It was, in fact, a pretty interesting story. Was the glycerin thing actually true? Mostly. Kind of. More or less. Was... So, no. Wow. Wow. That's pretty interesting. But, uh... What does that have to do with Ice Knight? To his surprise, it was Santa and not June who answered. What she's saying... It, that it's a lot like Ice Nine. What happened? I mean, a lot like that would be bad. Water everywhere started freezing at ninety-six degrees. Man, it'd be the end of the world. Ironically, we would be fine because our body, our normal internal body temperatures are at that point. So we wanted to like do literally anything. Yeah. As soon as we stepped in the freezer, we'd insta-freeze. Till your toes get a little cold. Yeah. At any rate, we're not gonna have... <clears throat> we're not gonna have to worry about the end of the world unless we can... get out of here pretty damn quick. 
He was right. Jinpei shivered. All right, guys. I think that's enough of that. <laughs> I didn't think we'd get quite this far. Off topic. He apparently doesn't know us. I mean, I know I'm kind of at fault here, but he can't be screwing around anymore. Seriously. I might go by the name Santa right now, but I didn't grow up in Iceland. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You mean you didn't grow up in Greenland? <laughs> We're gonna hate the cold. You Let's fucking get cracking, idiot. All right? We gotta find a way out of here. I like that it's oh. wrong, but completely in character. Yeah. I think the funniest thing is I can imagine Zero in this exact situation having this same exact talk. <laughs> I, Santa stomped off, clearly doing his best to pretend the cold wasn't affecting him. But I know that Greenland... Frozen to his shirt. I know that it's Greenland and not Iceland. Mm. Yes, but I could see you saying that in the heat of the moment. <laughs> it's like an almost pun. Mm -hmm. Selfish isn't he, thought Junpei to himself. Still, Santa was right. It was high time they got back to their search. The story of Ice Nine had him interested, but there'd be time to think about that once they'd gotten out of the freezer. This is making me want to see the band Ice Nine Kills again. <laughs> Junpei looked at June, nodded, and resumed the search. His search of the room. All right, back to uh, some shit. Uh, all right, throw the Ice Nine at the door. That feels like a terrible <laughs> idea. Uh, what's that? I mean, I guess we should start with what's on the shelves. Wait, why would it be a terrible idea? Frozen. I mean, we don't know how it'd react. Plus, it's uh, dry it's ice. So mm -hmm. Plus, it would just, like, you know, shatter. Yeah. A you don't need to shatter dry ice. Pork. I thought someone was making a mooing sound for some reason. I was like, oh. what? <laughs> should I switch over to the Kalkini? Uh, probably not for Twitch. Yeah, it doesn't quite cover the underboob. <laughs> uh, is there anything else on the shelf, or was that all? I think that's it. Everything's frozen. Doesn't look like there's anything else interesting. Okay, that big thing on the fucking floor, what's up? Mm. Oh, mm. rope. Maybe that big CO2 canister can break the door down. Well, it's probably a water bottle. Well. Never mind. Oh. I thought it was a CO2 canister as well. Nothing else in here. Okay. I guess... What's that? Can we reach that thing on top of the, uh... Freezer freezer? Oh, is nope. that a cake? Ah, Something. It's a lie, because we can't reach it. Yep. Um... Can we combine the uh, water and the dry... Well, it's probably going to be frozen, but can we combine the dry ice and the water somehow? I don't think so. You're on the right track. I've I presumed as much, yeah. Maybe it just needs more of a... Shock. More of a shock? Of a shock? Um... How's it going to let me... You're right, it's combining the dry ice with the bottle. Oh, so I was right there, just but... too early. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much mist to see what... It's fine, this is just banter for puddles, puzzle hey, solving. Hey, Jimpe, to... can you find some dry ice earlier? There we go. <laughs> There's warm water coming out of that pipe. Warm water and dry ice. What do you think would happen if we put that stuff in the sealed container together? We die from CO2 poisoning? Oh. I think we need to... I think it's just an empty water bottle, so we use it on the pipe. Why would you... Can you make this stuff cause an explosion if you steal something? Explode. Yeah, didn't what? you do that in school? No. It's never underestimate the power of expanding gas. I can assure you I don't. Ooh. I've I've seen what happens when uh, something uh, rises too quick from the ocean. 
Would you still love me, farts and all? No, sorry. Yeah. Do we need to mix it with something before the uh, dry ice? I think maybe we need to break it into chunks. I don't know. How I can never. Find I mean, they mentioned it. warm water from a pipe. So, are they talking about that pipe that looks like it's leaking? It is. Yeah. Warm water. But... Hmm. There's some. Maybe the water bottle was it. Yeah, use the water bottle still... on the pipe. Am I supposed to... Slink okay, me? game. Yes, we understand this. And you already tried the dry ice with the warm water? That would just melt or evaporate it immediately. Uh, I don't know why, but maybe the meat with the warm water? That's flowing from no. the pipe? No, meat's for later. I'm no, 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 no. I don't remember everything about these, but I remember a good chunk. I do know we need to break the dry ice. We Let's can start off by putting the dry ice dry. into the... Seriously? We gotta figure out a way to make it smaller than... I missed it. Good. Can I just hit it with the big chunk of ham? No. You should be able to. I think it's the knife. Can I just smash it on the floor? Realistically, yes. I surrender the doorknob, thin pipe. I'm not getting hammy. It's a pork chop. Well, yeah. Hmm. It's gonna burn my tea. It's nice. I it's been so long since I played this. Like I don't remember how to do it, but I remember what's causing us to not be able to move forward. You know. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Knowing our luck with how it's been so far, we might not have triggered a conversation. We need to actually do something. Right. Let's try this on the thing again. Nope. Okay. Wait, While you two are figuring it, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Combine the rope with the dry ice and just swing it around until it hit breaks. <laughs> I don't think so. But no. Okay. I mean, the mental image is pretty funny. Finger tight and make it. Yes. I mean, at this point, I'd say just investigate everything. Yeah. I can't think of anything else to investigate that we've done the shelves. Can we use the rope on the thin pipe? That was on the left side you interacted with? I think so. Nope. Hmm. Is that great to the left of the door or anything, or...? Frozen solid. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do for once. Okay. It's like the obvious answer is there, but we can't get to it. Um. I'm not sure what's getting in the way. Hey, guys. Frozen food, nothing special. Wait. Hey! Frozen chicken. If that was somehow preventing us from going forward, I swear to god. Sure, okay. Dry Are you fucking now, serious? Okay. What? I was right about smashing meat on it, but the meat's important, so I guess. I'm sorry, but that's the last of nine. <laughs> I, however, in my defense, I will say, did we get everything out of the freezer? <laughs> you said yes. You did. <laughs> You're a nice a nine. 
I'm an asinine? You're an Isonine. I don't know what that means, but okay. Ice nine? Well, yes, I know what the individual word means, but in a sentence, it doesn't make any sense. All right, here we go. Completely Time for warm questions. water dripped from the ruptured pipe near the door. Junpei pulled all the water, pull, bleh, pulled up, pulled out the water bottle filled with dry ice, let a good amount of water fall in, and then quickly sealed it up tight, and then blew off his fucking arms. Yeah. The makeshift bomb complete. He tied it to the doorknob as quickly as he could manage in the cold. All right, that's it. I lost my fucking fingers, but it was worth it. <laughs> so, uh, what do we see now? I'm kind of bleeding to death right now. We see even a little, uh, tap. Ball's already meant to pop. We just throw a rock or something at it. It'll go off on its own. A small rock. A small rock. Jinpei looked down at the floor. Scattered across it were pieces of dry ice left over from the larger chunk he crushed oh, earlier. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> okay, so who's good enough at throwing the hit it from here? We've got so many tries. He pulled his sleeve down over his hand to keep from getting burned and grabbed a chunk of dry ice. It immediately stuck to his sleeve, because that's what fucking dry ice does. Indeed. It was a pretty good size. About as big as a pool ball. That's he really figured big. it would be just about the right size. Now don't fuck up! Alright guys, stand back. Actually, we should probably hide somewhere. Both Wait. Santa and June looked at him with, a new, with his new concern. Where exactly do you expect us to hide, genius? And the freezer there, door. There isn't really anywhere big enough. Yeah, there is. Look right there. We can hide in there. Junpei pulled open the door to the small cellar. Oh. Okay, I guess that works too. Come on, get inside, quick. I like my idea better. Santa and June nodded and jumped down into the hole. Hope there's not a lock on it or anything. Yeah. Junpei quickly followed. In his hand, he could yes, feel the I chill have. of the frozen carbon dioxide, even though even through his sleeve, he tightened I mean, yeah, his grip. It's frozen to you. Took aim and prepared to throw. All right, here it goes. Three, four, five. You're counting the wrong way. Oops. That's a really sad excuse for a joke, man. Fuck off. I'm standing by what I said. <laughs> All right, <laughs> for real this time. <laughs> you guys ready? Yes. yes. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Just throw the damn throw thing. The oh god. All right, here I go. His hands just Three, two, now. one. I'm dead. You picked through the chunk of dry ice as hard as he could. With the same he motion, fired. he ducked into and the missed. cellar. He fired, and he missed. missed. He missed again. Gobble. He didn't miss the third time. Fell down in the snowbank. Had a popsicle. Failed it. Can you imagine if on the other side, Lotus just gets hit by the fucking door exploding? <laughs> Junpei left out of the cellar and ran to the door. <laughs> Jumpy! The ice on the door! Is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. Blast has <laughs> shattered it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. Let's get. Let's see if it opens. I'm Jimmy grabbed really the knob and pushed tall. with all his might. It's just a tiny little thing. True. The door gave way easily, and all three of them tumbled out of the freezer at once. Boom. Hooray! We're out. June relieved, collapsed onto the floor. Move! Santa shoved past Jinpei and ran straight to the grill, which he immediately grabbed. Ow! God damn it! Hot, 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 hot! Fuck! Yeah, dang! <laughs> he proceeded to kick the grill in a futile, but amusing fit of rage. There's that word again. 
So much fetal. But, but where was Lotus? It took Junpei only a moment to find her. She was sitting on the counter, idly scratching her chest. <laughs> oh, welcome back. I was starting to get, to get tired of waiting for you guys. We're still on planet for killing her, right? Yep. Oh yeah, totally. With a oh, great yawn, Lotus freezer. lowered herself off the counter. Junpei clenched his teeth and walked toward her. What are you doing? What do you mean, what I, was I doing? I was waiting. We were gonna die! Oh, yeah? But you didn't, so everything worked out alright, didn't it? The fuck? Just kidding. It might not look like it, but I was really worried. Don't give me that shit. I'm telling the truth. I mean, if you died, then I'd be in trouble too. If you died, then I'd be stuck here, and I'd die too. See? I'm gonna fucking kill you. I did all I could. I even looked around to see if there was anything I could use to pry open the door. But I couldn't find anything. So all I could do was wait. I mean, what else did you want me to do? Call the cops? I call bullshit. It was true there wasn't much she could have done. But something about her tone. Junpei gritted his teeth. Fine. But there's one thing I have to ask you. What's that? You didn't close the door, did you? What? You think I closed the door on you? Why would I do something like that? It closed on its own. I told you before, if you die, then I die too. She was right, and Junpei knew it. Without them, she'd be in very serious trouble. It seemed that an accident was the only explanation for the door's closure. Ah, uh, yes. Sure. If Lotus had really wanted to kill them, all she would have to have done was to bar the door from the outside. And she hadn't... Well, she hadn't done anything. The most she was guilty she of was laziness. Because if they hadn't figured that out, they'd be dead. Oh my god, is she wearing, like, plate, gold-plated underwear? No. She's not wearing so. any underwear. She's got, like, a wrap around herself. No, but look, it's it's got, it's like gold sticking out. I don't see... Oh, like the one pixel? About. I think that's just the cloth underneath the... No, the other side! What other side? That's her hip, that's her bone, or her... Yeah, hip bone. Yeah! But where do you think that's coming from? What are you Skin? Oh my god, just continue. Well, I'm sorry I doubted you. Hmm? It was really oh. suspect. Yes, well, that's all right, as long as you understand. Lotus looked away and twirled her hair between her fingertips. His vengeance against the grill complete, Santa swaggered back toward Junpei and Lotus. <laughs> hey, no more screwing around, you two. Break time's over. Especially for you, lady. You've been sitting on that fat ass and probably weren't anything to death. Uh, how rude. I was plenty busy. Yeah, yeah. How about you put all that energy into something besides bitching? Let's go. Damn. You know, Santa, for what's I agree with you. He's right. Yeah. What did we get from the fridge? We got a knife we can't use and a chunk of pork. I mean, chunk of pork, I say we go to the grill he was just beating up. Wherever that was. Oh, there it is. Hey, what are you doing? What are you going to do if the paper burns? Come on, it'll be fine. I did not realize that was a slip of paper. It's not, not like it's going to burn right away. Just got to keep an eye on it, and the paper will be fine. If anything, the oils and the juices will fuck with the paper. Mm -hmm. They can argue all they want. I'm gonna keep an eye on this pork. Cool, looks like it's about time. Mmm, looks tasty! I'm gonna, I'm gonna try taking the paper out. Chumpy, be careful. Sweet word of care, but I know what I'm... Ah! Ah! See? I told you. Uh, hey, what the hell are you doing? Hurry up and take the paper out. It's not coming out. Things frozen stiff, I can't get it out. Okay, I'm very confused. What paper? 
there's paper the thing that's sticking out the side on the right side oh i thought that was a bone nope i did too he's the knife he said paper i was like oh okay open and I... is there a sharpener somewhere he's build knife yay it's not working knife is too dull yep well that's probably because it's all rusty if he had something you could sharpen the knife with the okay, only thing we haven't done in here is this yeah but we so... don't know what the code would be do we well, we'll do the plates. The one from the I mean, I, paper didn't work, so... I mean, it's 9, 10, 15, 16, but they said there weren't enough... There wasn't enough uh, space on it for it. We've got... 9... Oh, wait, maybe we need to check the paper again. So, 9, 1, 0... Oh, okay, I see. So we're going to look at the voucher and then convert it to... I can't get to the voucher. Knife is in the way. There we go. Hexadecimal. I wonder if it's some kind of hint. Yeah, maybe. Jinpei, do you remember what I told you about hexadecimal code earlier? Vaguely. All right, then. Here's a little quiz for you. What would 9 plus F be in base 10? That'd be 24. Right? Good job. Yes. Do we have that note on file? No. Okay, so there's... So, 9, 1, 0, 1, 5, 1, 6? That's not right. Okay, where's my note? So I know what was on the paper was different from what the amount of plates on the thing was, because they commented on it. Is it, there any way to make the knife disappear so you can do it? I mean, I already clicked on it, it just, it was that scene that we just did. Oh, so that's not very helpful. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Oh. I'll do it. Whetstone. Before we ended up going into the freezer, I was about to say, hey, have we checked that sink yet? <laughs> and I ended up forgetting about it during that scene. Yay, now we can cut shit. Yay. Now we especially can't give that to June. <laughs> At least we won't get infected, probably. Maybe. Yes! I cut I the cut pork. pork. <laughs> awesome, Junpei. Now we can cut out the paper. Man, it must smell amazing in there right now. E plus 10 Speed plus F. F. Hmm. So, yeah, C plus 10 plus F. Thirty-seven. My paper. Is that right? Maybe. Or would it be? C is, uh, C is twelve, because A is ten. Mm -hmm. F is, as we figured out already, is fifteen. Mm -hmm. It'd be twelve, ten, and fifteen, which would be thirty-seven. So C ten F would be twelve, ten, fifteen for the password. Okay. I'm assuming. Okay, what was the answer? E plus 10 plus 15, which would be 12 plus 10 plus 15, or C plus 10 plus F. Which so would be... 10, 12, 15, or 12, 10, 15. So 37? Yeah. We 
sure it's 37? Yes. Can you, how many uh, digits does that allow? Three, at most. I mean, unless there's a backside we can see. Twelve and fifteen. That was clever and funny. Well, <laughs> yeah, it should be twelve and nine, ten, or twelve. Yeah, it's 12 and 15. 12 plus 10 is 22. 22 plus 15 is 37. It's not 10. Oh my god, it's 16. How? What do you mean? It's... It's 10, 16, and 15. Oh, 16 is 10! Uh-huh. Yeah. So that's... 43. Hey, look at us. Metal is falling. Obviously, because 10 isn't an actual number. It's A for 10. Mm -hmm. Good job, Jumpy. Yay. What was in it? Oh, the key card. Key card. Oh, shit, what we was can that leave. What's again, Mars? Saturn, I think it said. Uh, here it is. Boop. Yes, I think it, it's unlocked now. You did it, Jumpy! Let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, that is Saturn. You found it! I oh, found it! Huzzah! I won! Yay! A uh, winner this... is you. Yay, we stepped out of the kitchen and into a hallway that looked rather familiar. A metal grate stretched from wall to wall. Beyond it were two elevators and the entrance to the kitchen. They had entered the kitchen from one door and come out the other. That meant their map of the ship's interior was accurate. They laid the map out in front of them and began to discuss their next step. There were four possible routes. A, B, C, and D. First, A and B. Are they in the same place? Yeah. A and B okay. both seemed to connect to an L-shaped room. However, the two doors that lead to the room were both locked and could not be opened. Next was Route C. This goes all the way to the main staircase. That means it's door five, one of the numbered doors. Then, do you think we'll meet up with the other four after this hallway? Assuming they're alive? No, I don't think we will. Why not? Look. There, by the stairs. See how the gate is opened? When we went into the kitchen, it was closed. But it's open now. What do you think that means? X. They opened it. Most likely. And if we take Route C, we're going backwards. That would be pointless. Doesn't that be... They all We're look at the downstairs. staircase. It's lazy curve leading down deeper into the ship. Route D, but then. He's flooded. D it is! Because we D's haven't gone not. upstairs in any place. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh, we went up the stairs at the very beginning. Yep, Route D. Good world, sir. They jog down the stairs until they reach the sea deck. Just to be sure, they kept going to check the deck beneath. Okay. Yeah, just like I thought. Not. Deck D is totally underwater. Just like the bottom of the central staircase. The water gazed back at them, its smooth surface like a great mirror. As ominous as it was, Junpei took at least some comfort from the fact that the level hadn't gone up much since the last time he'd seen it. They turned back to sea deck. It didn't take them long to find the two elevators in front of the stairs. They looked identical to the elevators on the top floor, with one exception. 
these elevators had card readers on the front, or had a card reader on the wall between them. I mean, the metal um, looks a bit darker, but yeah. Okay. On the card reader was a strange mark. Oh, hey, the gender fluid symbol. Hey, look, it's Lotus the symbol. Huh? See, it's it's the woman symbol with a thorn on it. <laughs> that seems <laughs> like. <laughs> Ouch, 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 ouch. <laughs> it's exactly taking the... hold of Junpei's hair. She mm -hmm. deserves it, but so does Junpei. It's, it's absolutely. A, it's a, it's exactly the gender fluid symbol. Oh yeah. Such violence. Junpei began to wonder if she was not the devil herself. Itself. With an uncomfortable smile, June spoke up. This is a Mercury symbol. The thorn symbolizes the wings on Hermes' staff. Hermes, herpes, whatever. <laughs> you can't get this thing to, to work. These elevators aren't going anywhere. In other words, we need a key card with the Mercury symbol on it. Probably. They gave up on the elevator and returned to the stairs. A hallway stretched out to the left. A great many doors lined both sides of the hallway. They weren't sure how many, but certainly enough to be discouraging. Damn it, if we try to search all these, the sun's gonna go down before we're done. Half of them. I think the sun already set. I have a feeling the ship is the only thing that's going to go be going down. Wait, hold on. I have a feeling this ship is the only thing that's going to be going down anytime soon. That's even worse! So well, you we can come time, back you to fucks. this hallway later. Let's check the hallway on the other side, shall we? Frustration and fear building, they walked back to the stairs. To the right was a right. small hallway. It wouldn't take that long. You'd basically just be in your handle checks the whole way down. Yeah, pretty much. It With is it like just half forward. the length of the fucking Titanic. I mean, sure, but there's four of you. Proof. The hallway led to the stern, and at its end was a set of double doors. Let's open it. Jinpei nodded and grabbed one, the one closest to him. He gave it a small tug and felt it move. It was unlocked. Thrilled to have found an unlocked door, he threw it open. Jinpei didn't know what to make of what he saw. Oh. Three, seven, eight. Yep. Simply stood, unable to speak. The other simply stared, open mouthed. After a few long moments, Santa managed to speak. What the hell is this? A massive room stretched out in front of them, more a cavern than a room. Its vastness, vastness was oppressive, and it bore down on the four companions. It was not empty, however. The entire room was filled with lines upon lines of beds. They were simple things, little more than pipe and thin mattresses. Hi, cat. Which cat? It's Mao? It's Mitzi. Mitzi. We've had all three cats visit now. Meow. Mm -hmm. Is is this a hospital? Oh shit. He had at last been ever to put a name to the harsh scent that pervaded the room. The room swam at the harsh biting smell of antiseptic. In the center of the room were shelves were stacked with medicine. Or were shelves stacked with medicine and a number of medical devices, the function of which Junpei did not. More importantly, however, on the back wall of the room were Four doors. Three of them were emblazoned with large single-digit numbers made with thick red paint. The door on the left was labeled three. The second door from the left had no number, but the third had been given a seven. And the rightmost door had an eight. There could be no doubt. They were numbered doors. Dun dun dun. Close, close brackets. It did strike Junpei, however, strange. As strange, however, that the door between three and seven should be blank. What, he wondered, could it mean? Take a look at those doors. Yes, that sounds like a good plan. Jinpei headed towards the doors, weaving his way between the beds. He started with door three on the left and moved to the right until it reached door eight. Eight. 
It's no use. It's no use. Well, of course. If it was that easy to open these doors, it would be the point of the nonary game. We have to activate the red, or the number of doors won't. Wait a minute. Oh. Look, the display on the red. There's nothing on it. Huh? <laughs> Don't you remember? The red at the central staircase. If no one was inside, it said vacant. Oh yeah, you're right. But this one... There's nothing on it. Right? I wonder if it's broken. <laughs> Only one way to find out. Sorry, I had to change my outfit. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Oh, yes. Very important. It didn't respond. All four, tur four took turns placing their hands over the red, but it refused to respond. They pulled to the oh, lever, wait. and it still did nothing. So were none of them active? Or was it just this one that they were testing? Um, they tried none of this and none of that. Oh, yeah. The and red door on the seven also refused it. Three was similarly silent. None of them would respond. What did it mean? Ha ha! I knew it! <laughs> They're broken! Zero sure sucks at maintenance. Hey! <laughs> no, that's impossible. You really think Zero, who prepared all of this, would make such a stupid, simple mistake? Exactly. I'm not going to answer for Zero's sake. Maybe, hey, <laughs> you be quiet over there. Maybe, but yes. that doesn't explain why this thing ain't working. It was at that moment they realized they fucked up. They fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> they heard a voice from behind. I believe the bottom of the device has been removed. They spun around to see. Snake! But it was more than just Snake. Ace, Clover, and Seven quickly filed into the room as well. Although they were glad to see one another, it wasn't terribly surprising that they had. If it had been the other party who'd opened the gate in front of the kitchen, it wasn't unreasonable that they'd bump into one another eventually. The rest of Snake's team, however, did look rather surprised. How? How'd you guys... How did you end up here? Dot dot. After a moment of silence and surprise, everyone suddenly began to talk, desperate to exchange information. They talked about the rooms they'd been through and how they ended up in the same place. Of course, none of it was very useful information, but that hardly mattered. They were happy to simply see one another again. Although the level of cheer varied greatly from person to person, each one of them was wearing some manner of smile. Almost as though they had already forgotten about the death of the ninth man. Well, he was a piece of shit, so... He did hold one of them at knife point. Mm -hmm. No, thought Junpei, perhaps that wasn't it. Perhaps the thoughts of his death were what drove them to smile at one another. Not in a morbid or hateful way. No, the ninth man had died. But they were still alive, and that was something to be happy about. A sort of simple, uncomplicated joy. Junpei thought, the joy of being alive. Still alive. Still alive. He felt sorry for the... Still alive. He felt sorry for the ninth man, but more than anything, no, Junpei don't. was just happy to be alive. Shut the fuck up, Junpei. You were sorry. No. There you have it. Our half of the story. His part finished, Ace fell silent. For a moment, Junpei was silent in thought. Then he spoke. Okay, let me see if I've got this all straight. When you guys got here, the bases for the Reds were already gone. And you looked all over this room, but you couldn't find anything. So you figured... ...that there might be something in the hallway with all the doors. So you went and had a look? Yeah. 
And while you were looking <laughs> around, you heard voices. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. So you followed the voices and came back here. Indeed. And that was how we found you. Junpei ex examined the three reds again, just in case. On the bottom of each was a long, thin gap. It looked like a slot for... something. Probably something electronic. Well, this isn't good. If the red is inactive, we can't keep going. Well, what about that hallway over there? Isn't there any anywhere else we can go? No, there isn't. There are plenty more hospital rooms, but nothing else. Hospital rooms? That's what's behind all those doors? Yes. There are a number of individual rooms in addition to the storage one. Oh. <laughs> there was a door at the end of the hallway, but it was locked. There was an astrological symbol engraved near the keyhole, however. I was able to get a good uh, feel of it. Because I'm blind. I believe it was the symbol of Jupiter. Not again. Jupiter, okay? These goddamn things are everywhere. I wonder what they all mean. For a moment, everyone was silent. Deep in thought. Fucking conspiracy theorist. We're gonna read the ship's horoscope. Shut the fuck up, dude. You're not allowed to talk. While we're talking... We're... <laughs> While we're asking what things mean, what's the deal with this room? I mean... I thought that's a cruise ship. I can't imagine a cruise ship would have a hospital like this. Of all people, it was Seven who answered, and with calm confidence. Well, I figure it's probably a hospital ship. Chances are, it's the gigantic. Wow. One second. It's real. <laughs> well, no, I wasn't right. I wasn't checking that. I was writing this down. Oh, okay. Titanic, gigantic. Is this ship cursed, too? Okay, continue. The gigantic? Jinpei looked confused. So did everyone else. Don't forget the Olympic. What's the gigantic? Of course. Seven knit his brows for a moment, then began to explain. Of course. Zero would have the gigantic. Of course he would. <laughs> Is the gigantic his ego? Oh, you know my ego's not that big. Yes, that's because I'm here to deflate it. No, my anxiety does that. And I also help keep that down. Seven explained yeah. that she had been a sister ship to the Titanic, built in the early 20th century. The uh -huh. Titanic had two sister ships, who were identical to one another in nearly every aspect. The Gigantic was said to be one of them. So, I mean, this is the actual Titanic, then. <laughs> <laughs> she was initially intended to be a passenger liner like the Titanic, but soon after the ship was launched, the First World War began, and she was pressed into duty by the British Navy as a hospital ship. By some time later, the Gigantic was damaged by a German mine in the... Uh, Agency. Agency? She managed to run aground after the incident, and I guess they didn't. Was not I guess they really needed to have a sense of agency, didn't they? No. Okay, what right then? Guy. Happened to the hey, that one together. was actually <laughs> good. <laughs> one theory ran that a man named Lord Gordain had purchased her. Lord Gordain, it seemed, had been one of the few survivors of the Titanic tragedy, and that trauma had turned him into an obsessive collector of all things related to the Titanic. As his obsession deepened, he began to desire the Titanic itself. That, of course, was impossible. The Titanic lay at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. The Gigantic, however, had not suffered such a dire fate. And she was identical to her sister ship. She caught Lord Gordain's eye. Wow, the Titanic's in the Atlantic? The Gigantic. <laughs> it's, ped it's pedantic. Also, I like how you called me out for saying that, but then you also clip at zero. <laughs> <laughs> it's for the content. The content, yes. exactly. So you're saying this Lord Gordain bought this ship? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least I think I am. 
That's impossible. No way you're in the same boat that's almost a thousand or a hundred years old. Pipe down. Just pay attention. What? That's it? Well, have you got any proof? Proof. Proof that the ship is really the, gi the gigantic. Well, uh... She's got stuff like the Titanic and a hospital ship. So I just figured. Oh, for goodness. Don't tell me that's your only reason. No, I've, I've got more. It's a good guess. I mean, yeah. It's like... Right. Well, uh, I mean... So I think the Olympic was also sank. Olympic, eh? Mm -hmm. Seven looked around desperately, doing anything to avoid meeting Lotus's piercing stare. He scratched his head for a moment, then gave up. Finally, he opened his mouth. I don't know. Lotus sighed and shook her head. I guess your memory isn't back yet, is it? Yeah, sorry about that. Memory isn't back? Hey, 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 wait a minute. Memory isn't back? Junpei was, he felt, legitimately shocked by what seemed to be new and very important information. Everyone else, however, seemed unimpressed. In fact, they all looked at Junpei as though he had said something very strange. He decided to revise his attitude for the next question. Wait, was that the only one that didn't know? Everyone nodded. Why? Oh, yeah, I guess it didn't tell you, huh? I told the rest of them before it ran to you on the stairs. I told them I couldn't remember a damn thing before I woke up. What? Then, almost as if to save Junpei from future embarrassment, bell began to ring from far away. It sounded as that. though it was the clock at the main stairway. You couldn't hear it? No. I could hear it. Jinpei counted a chime, each chime carefully. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. It's midnight. Then we've got six hours left, right? We don't have any time to screw around. Let's get going. we got to find the missing parts for the Reds. What do you mean, find? How on earth do you propose we do that? We've looked everywhere in this room. There only leaves one place to look. One... Well, I guess it's, that's not really right. Wait! Don't tell me you mean you need to search all of the other rooms? Don't freak out. We already searched four of them. Four rooms? We just have to split up uh, the rest between the eight of us. It's not that long. Each person does six rooms. That'll be 48 rooms, right? So there are 48 rooms left? Her earlier experiences apparently not encouraged Lotus to trust Seven. Seven scratched his head awkwardly. I don't know. I'm so gonna fucking smack you. Fucking love seven. <laughs> After a little more discussion, they split up and headed toward the rooms to begin searching them. Jinpei was chosen to search the rooms on the starboard side, moving from fort to aft. What? It was bold. <laughs> they also no. determined when they would return to report their findings. I don't know. The I don't know what that is. Right at the time, fort to aft, uh, front to back. Oh. Uh, when it did, they would meet back in the large central room full of beds. If during their search, any one of them were to locate the missing components, they would already yell for the others. If this strategy failed, they'd return to discuss their options later. The details decided, they left to begin searching. Out into the hallway, each... the Out into the hallway they went, each to the rooms they'd been assigned. This is the 10 However, warning, by the way. Okay. However... However, from far away, Junpei heard the bell ring. It did so only once. It was 1 a.m. How did another fucking hour? hour. Like They're very bad at this. Yeah. 
Should have taken like 10 minutes to check all the door handles. He jogged through the entrance of the large hospital room to find six of the others already there. Ace, Santa Clover, June 7, and Lotus. They had gathered in front of the door number 8. Or perhaps to be accurate, they had gathered in front of the red next to the door number 8. Had one of them found the missing piece? What happened, guys? It was June who answered him. Jumpy, look! She was pointing at the red. He pushed through to the others until he stood in front of it. Immediately, he knew what she had meant. The display on the front of the red read, Vacant. Junpei sighed. Fun guys, who was it? I thought we were supposed to yell if we found it. Well... Junpei wondered why she was hesitating. The others looked as confused as June, but kept their mouths shut. What the hell? What is up with you guys? They all knew something he didn't, and Junpei wasn't about to lead things that way. Finally, Lotus frowned and spoke. Well, that's the thing. We don't know. You don't know? You don't know yet! When I got back, it was already like this. There was no one else here. That means I was the first one back, but... The missing parts were already back in the red. Junpei looked at the bottom of the red again just to make sure. The slot that had been open on the bottom was now covered with metal. Clearly, whatever had been missing had been returned. What about the, what other, the other two? Oh, sorry. No, that was you. Oh, They're yeah. the same. Jinpei quickly examined the other two boxes. Satisfied that they also were repaired, but still very confused, he returned to the others. Alright, I just want to be sure here. Nobody has any idea what the hell happened here, right? Ace and June nodded silently. Seven raised his hands as if to say, Not me. Not me. And Santa just shrugged. <laughs> Only Clover lowered her head and did nothing. Huh? Wait a minute. Where's Snake? That was that was when he noticed. Junpei swept his eyes across the room a second time, but Snake was nowhere to be seen. Does that mean that he found them? I have no idea. There's nothing to suggest, but nothing to suggest he didn't either. I don't suppose we'll know until we can ask him in person. Who's with him? He's blind! Well, whatever he did or didn't do, he's pretty damn late. Maybe he's not really blind. What the hell is he up to? Maybe he's lost? Yeah, well, that seems likely. Dude can't see. I don't know how he gets around in the first place. Clover raised her head. Hi, Roxas. No, that's Literally. impossible! There you go. Suddenly she was shouting. Yeah, my brother's blind, but he's got really great hearing. He can get around as well as anyone who can see. So he he couldn't get lost. That's impossible. Clover had started to shake, and the knuckles of her hands had gone white. She spun around, but before she did, Junpei noticed tears welling up in her eyes. I'm gonna go look for him. The words were barely out of her mouth when she began to run. Hey! Hold on, Clover, wait! Junpei cried out to her, but he was too slow. You're too slow! She kept going. Before anyone else could react, she was gone. Damn it. What should we do now? Well, the red is working now. No, we're not leaving two people behind. We should go look for them. Oh man, this ain't good. Oh yes, what an excellent idea. We just wasted a bunch of time looking for some piece of electronic junk. Now let's waste some more by looking for a couple of idiots. Then remain here if you feel you must. But there's no time. We've only five hours left. Jinpei and the others nodded to one another and took off at a run. Dot dot dot. Ellipses. <laughs> Alright. This is a good place. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotta locate the clover. We were running around and like a bunch snake. of Jack Bowers asking where the bomb is. Aw, yeah. Another yeah. escape room down. That's we did awesome. it. We, we did, did it. it.
I need to like hey. make a flow chart for the freaking stream overlay. <laughs> just like just like get that picture of the dude from Always Sunny with the like red oh. string all over the stuff on the board. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, Sylvia. Ugh. This is really fun. I'm don't understand I'm any of it. Oh, you will eventually. Will I? Maybe. I probably will. The second game is fucking crazy. I, um... I don't know how you two are solving puzzles. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> I'm decent at escape rooms. I like puzzles. I'm Me not too. good at puzzles. I wonder if I still have... I had, like, an entire, like, tiny notebook that I was filling up with notes for these three games. I'm slowly filling up a notepad I have just open on the side. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, this has been really fun. We got to find someone to to wade. That we do. Let's see. He's Ooh. live. Where are we dropping, boys? Where are we dropping, toys? Let's see, Blondie and Yoko. I know we rated Blondie last time, I think. I don't remember what if Yoko we did, so. Oh, and Yoko's doing a Talos principle. Oh, sick. Speaking of puzzles. That'd, that'd be a good transition from these puzzles. Let me just uh, open up. Let me just see if uh, Yoko's still going. Yes, Yoko is still going. Do we want to do we double rainbow Yoko? Hell yeah. Okay. And why Let me get the zero? double rainbow message first for you. Yeah. Yeah. I almost typed it in Yoko's chat. <laughs> Can't believe Zero just traps people in a death game. I know, it's so rude. Uh huh. It wasn't my fault. You were the one who did it. Ouch. It wasn't me. Oh my god, I'm just trying to copy and paste this, but it wants to keep opening what the fucking things are. Yes, okay, copy. This? Yeah. You already started your raid? Yeah. What the... I'm getting ready. Uh, okay, well I gotta do mine now. Holy shit, give me a yeah, second. Yeah, you do. I didn't even start it. Ah! I didn't say go yet. <gasps> Are you saying you're too slow? No. You're too slow! <laughs> okay, well, fucking all the other shit, too. I need to fucking the message again. Oh my god, just let me copy it. Stop! Why is it doing this? I don't care that that's the, what it is. Just let me. Co oh my god! <laughs> I can't copy. It wants to copy. It wants to click on what the fucking things are. Yes, I know what those are. Oh my god! Well, I think we're about there, to raid. Work this time. All right. Okay, it's time to raid. Okay. See Bye, you everyone. Next time. Bye. See you next time. Bye. 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 What? What? I got one of this. Oh, I need like one, two, three. Wait, I read the wrong person. What? Oh no. What? No, no, I think Sky read the wrong person. I'm in Yoko. Oh shit! Wait, seriously? Zero. Yeah. Yeah, you wrote. How Yoko the fuck backwards. did I do that? Oh, did the O first instead of second. <laughs>